So it is 25% off day here at Savers. We're gonna hit up a couple Savers. You excited, Don? Oh yeah, I already been to one Savers today. She found some good stuff. I didn't get it on camera, unfortunately. But we're gonna see if we have luck at a couple more. Here's a Nolo for everybody, a No Bolo. Don't buy these. This is only like $1.50. It's a 1984 Olympic mug, but Olympic stuff, unless it's clothing, and most clothing still is tough, but some clothing's good money, but most Olympic stuff is not worth buying. They had a bunch, as usual, of Lego bags. I'm looking for the minifigures, of course, or maybe like a complete or near complete vehicle. Um, I mean, I want to buy this stuff. I want to buy it. I like Lego stuff. It sells if you get the right stuff, but just there was nothing in those bags. This is something I'm going to pick up. It's new with the tag, Halo, um, Spartan Warrior guy. It's like under $3. I think we can get probably around $10 to $15 or at the least put it on uh, whatnot and make a little bit of a profit. So I don't think we can lose with that. That was a good quality looking seal plush. But um, unfortunately, I don't know the maker, so I'm not going to pick it up. This Pikachu looked good, um, but it had a bunch of stuff. There you go. Number one of the day. I dropped something. I got it out early. I dropped something every video, and this happened within like the first two minutes. Yay. This Savers probably has the best selection of any of them in Vegas, but they're pretty pricey, $7.99. So that's like roughly $6 on a day like this. I have to be really sure I want to take a chance or I know it's a great, great hat at that price. This is a vintage style Boston Celtic shirt with a modern tag, unfortunately. For a couple bucks, I'd pick that up because I dig the style, but I don't think there's much more than maybe 10 bucks in that. This is cool. This is a defunct um, E-C-H-L minor league hockey team, I believe, here in Vegas. The Wranglers. Couldn't find much on them. This was a stadium giveaway, too. I'm going to take a chance on it because I like it. I'm probably going to price it at about $25 or $30 plus shipping. I think it has a chance. At, it'll definitely make me money, but I think it has a chance of doing somewhere near that. Savers wasn't too great. We are going to go to the Tropicana one. I still believe that's the biggest one in the world, Savers-wise, so wish us luck. You ready to go, Don? Find some treasures? This is my favorite one. I like this one quite a bit. And 25% off day is a low-key good day because there's not as much traffic in here. So if there is something good, you'll get a little bit of a discount. Half off day could be could be a lot of people, you know? They have a boatload of Christmas stuff today at this Savers. They brought out these like Goodwill style bins because they had so much excess. This is this is insane. We're looking for Jemmy stuff, obviously Department 56, Spode, Fitz and Floyd. Uh, vintage Christmas, which is really hot. Um, with eBay, we're up against it. There's not a lot more time to really sell it before the season, but honestly, it will sell through the holidays until early next year pretty well because uh, people are buying for the next year and stuff like that. And it sells all year round if it's priced right and it's desirable. So if you find a good piece, it doesn't matter if it's March. You could post it and it'll be gone probably that same month if it's a desirable piece. But um, we're looking for Jemmy electronic stuff that we can put in probably in the next week in our auction so that we can get it out before the holidays for people who want it for themselves or possibly to sell. Um, we thought this might have been a Jemmy, um, but it is not a Jemmy. I don't believe it was. But we did end up finding a couple Jemmy, so stay tuned to the end of this video because we did find a couple. They had a couple ornaments that I felt were worth looking up. Right here, there's like an Empire, M&M &M Empire. Um, I think that's Princess Amidala from the late 90s. You'd think this would have some value, but it's worth maybe a little bit more than what they were asking, maybe six, seven, eight dollars plus shipping. I like these keepsakes, the modern ones with the with the dates on them. A lot of times those can be worth a little bit of money. That's from Peppa Pig, but surprisingly not worth much more than what they were asking. I always check out Funko Pops to see if I can find an out of print vaulted one. Both of these are not that popular, unfortunately. Bobbleheads I love, but you got to pass on a lot of them because they'll just sit and sit and sit. This one's kind of pricey at $7.99, and it's worth maybe 10 bucks if you're lucky so it's a pass this is definitely my find of the day this is a justice league movie flash it has great great detail on it they wanted $14.99 uh, with the discount, it's roughly $12. There were a couple of these that were up um, that got Buy It Now offers. They were around $70, $75. I think I can get about $50, $60 for this. I'm going to put it up at $75 and hope I can get that. But no way I'm passing up such a cool piece. This made my day. This is one I picked up for my WhatNot auction. I just couldn't leave it. It's $4, and honestly, it's not worth much more than that. You know, maybe $4 to $8 plus shipping, but it's cool. It's Funko Pop. I'm pretty sure somebody who watches the WhatNot auction will like like it. If I make my money back, cool. If I don't, I think I'll make my money back, maybe in a few dollars profit, but I'm saving it from the thrift store and we're going to get it to somebody who wants it.
Let's check out this wall of plush. They have a ton of plush at this location. There's actually a couple other locations in this store that have plushes as well. Checking out these Despicable Me's. They're not worth that much money. If this was like, you know, at a yard sale, I'd pay like a dollar. Or at the bins, I'd pay, you know, less than a dollar. But at the prices they're asking, I'm going to leave. There's a lot of stuff at bin prices on that wall that I would definitely pick up. But I'm not paying four or five bucks a piece. Sports cards are tough. I love it. I'm a sucker for them. I'll overpay for them sometimes. But 1992 was one of my prime collecting years. These are 92 Donruss. Not a lot of great cards in those sets. They're nostalgic for me, but I have plenty of them, or I've seen plenty of them. I don't need any more right now. Until next time. I'm sure there'll be a moment when I want more. I'm sure. This pair of Rugrats Reptar shorts were kind of cool and interesting to me. I could not find them on eBay. I didn't look super, super hard, and they were like, after the discount, about six bucks. Another thing, at the bins, I throw it in all day. But at those prices, I'm not going to take the risk. This vintage corduroy hat caught my eye. And then I saw the tag, Vintage Auto. That's a great tag to look out for. And it was $2.99, so it's going to cost me, you know, a little over $2. Big Bear, you know, decent enough logo. I'm going to pick it up. That's like maybe like a $10 to $20 hat on eBay. Um, at that price, I will take a chance on it because it's corduroy. Corduroy Vintage Auto hats. I tend to pick them up if they're only a dollar or two. There was a time a couple years ago that I was drinking a ton of this. I don't drink it anymore. I don't suggest drinking a ton of Bang Energy drinks. And that hat I thought might be worth money, and it isn't. This Lacoste sweater caught my eye. I had the tags. I was kind of stoked when I saw it. And then I saw the price, $50. Um, that's probably, I'm guessing, more than what it's going for online. I could be wrong. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't pick that up at that price, even with the 25% off discount. This one I'm I'm taking an educated risk on. It's modern, Iron Maiden. Um, the vintage ones do really well, obviously. Um, but this brand is all over the place. But I think I can get about 25 to 30 for this shirt. It's going to cost me about eight, eight fifty for it. Um, it's in immaculate condition. There's no issues. And the uh, logo and everything is crisp and really pops. So I'm going to take a chance on it. Now, this is the part of the video where I do an interesting camera angle. And it looks like I'm thoughtfully picking, uh, thinking about what I'm going to buy. But I'm actually just thinking about Taco Bell. Yum. The logo on this shirt to me looked old, like something I had seen maybe in the 90s or the 80s. The Fruit of the Loom tag looked old. And then I looked at the sleeve and it's single stitch. So this is 80s or 90s in pretty good condition and cheap. It was originally $349, so this is going to cost maybe like $250, $275. So I'm picking that up for sure. This is Robert Graham, $13.99. I've never seen this exact you know logo for Robert Graham or print. It's going to cost me around $10 or $11. I didn't look up comps on it, but I'm going to buy this. It's nice and clean. I've sold Robert Graham for more than this before. So worst case scenario, I only make a few dollars, but I think I'm going to probably get hopefully 30, 40, $50 on it. It's in great condition. The pattern on the, the cuff is really nice too. So here's the part I was telling you about where we look at some jemmies we found today. This is a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer jemmy. Costs us about $4. These are going to go in our whatnot auction. That's either going to be Friday or Saturday of this week. We're just going to do a small whatnot, a fun one, probably like 30, 40 items total. Uh, Don was having a blast with this one. This one is adorable. Um, it's going to be hard to even sell it, but Don absolutely loved this one. They say if you do what you love, you don't work a day in your life. And we do what we love. We really, really love picking. And honestly, I love making content. So it's a great life. So this was another great find from today. This is all Don. She found this awesome little statue, Santa statue. Statue. There's one on eBay currently with a bunch of bids at $53. This is great. It's in good condition. Always check carefully to make sure there's no chips. It's in great condition. Um, it's vintage. I'm not sure exactly the brand. Something original. And they're only wanting about $4.75 for it. So we're going to 10 times our money maybe after fees on that. I couldn't resist these. These are cool. These are bleacher creature plushes. There's a Luka Doncic who might be the MVP in the NBA this year. Clay uh, Thompson, Carlson for the Golden Knights, and Dwayne Wade. I decided to end up. They're about you know they're going to cost a little under you know six dollars, maybe five fifty a piece. I decided to get three of them. The comps are you know selling new at like twenty seven. I think I can get about fifteen a piece, maybe a little less, but I couldn't pass them up because I love them. So a lot of times in my videos, especially my short form videos, I get this comment. It's over and over. Again, I get it. And it doesn't bother me, but it's an interesting comment. They say, get a job, get a real job. I get that a lot. And I got to tell you, this is the best job ever. And it is a real job. There's so much involved in what we're doing. We're not only picking, we're selling, we're marketing. If you're doing the social media aspect, that's a whole nother thing. Then you're also keeping track of everything, um, doing the tax part of it. There's so many aspects to this job. So don't get discouraged when people tell you to get a real job because this is a real job. 
and it's an awesome job. And if you love what you're doing, you never work a day in your life.